Claire. Claire C L A I R E. We need to see a T dot. No, I can only quote people who are willing to be at the full name. Okay. So, so why, why, why do you want to use your last name? Why not? Because I'm just getting a lot of flack because I'm always in the media. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and I don't really Well, like you're in a position because you got to meet with the mayor. So, I mean, it'd be well, great if you could. I don't really think it's a privilege thing. He's just an old human being. Okay, Claire, I'll take the T. Okay, the great. Okay. Thank you. Spell, spell your first name again for the record. C L A I R E. Okay, so how, how'd it go? It went good. It was about 40 minutes? Yeah, yeah. It went good. He's, um, how did he pick y'all, first of all? It was a six. We put, we chose ourselves through a general assembly. I see. Yeah. Okay. And our general assembly chose this this group to come here. And what are your qualifications, would you say? How did they pick you? Human beings. Okay. So um, was he kind of open to your ideas? Did he, did he listen, you think? I think he listened. I don't know how open he was. Um, this is, I'm not speaking on behalf of my group. I'm speaking on behalf of myself. Um, I think he listened. I think. Um, I, I'm not sure if he was open. I think that he believes that his hands are tied, which they are to a certain extent. But um, we, we enlightened him a little bit on some ways that maybe he could view this in creative ways that his hands aren't tied. So as of now, um, he's considering um, uh, making a, a verbal support to city council or to the city or to media, we're not sure how far that will go, but he said he would consider being verbally supportive of our movement. The mayor said that you guys talked about poverty and uh, the, 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 the homeless rates in, in the city. Um, was that, did, did you like that? I mean, was that constructive to what you guys were doing? Um, well, uh, we specifically want to talk about the First Amendment, so we weren't really talking about homelessness. Um, it did keep coming back up, but that was not our specific goal at this time. And the letter that we sent to, mayor, to the mayor um, requested really politely that we you know, stick to the First Amendment issues um, and the, the, the issues, and I'm sorry, I forget the clause numbers, but those clauses that we specifically stick to this because that's what GA authorized to talk with us to talk about. No, we can't speak on behalf of GA for things. If so. this is that, if the mayor's hands are tied and, and it really comes down to the city council having to pass an ordinance to allow you to be able to say, do you think it's fair to be staying in this neighborhood or, you know, this traffic well, we were in, We were invited by a uh, a by his neighbor, and we took that invitation, um, and we were really grateful for that invitation. We we're following uh, noise ordinance laws, and we we're carpooling as much as possible to cut down a congestion. As far as I've seen, nothing's really been a problem yet at all. Um, and uh, we believe that the First Amendment trumps city ordinance at all times, so it just kind of depends on how you look at it. The mayor did. We believe in the Constitution before city ordinance. The mayor did say that you guys were adamant about keeping the peace and uh, yeah, and, yeah. And, it, and if you look at our record, we've been extremely peaceful thus far. He um, he did say the topic of where you guys can camp out, the possible campsites, or or, or that didn't even come that up. did not come up yet. No. Wasn't that something that you guys wanted to discuss today? Or you guys um, no, not so much meeting? because we're not necessarily um, asking for a permit or anything like that. We um, because again, I think first amendment um, trumps the ordinance, or, um, so we already think it's it's our right to, to stay outside in 24 hours till the world is um, Where do you go from here? We're not sure yet. We have to take it back to GA. <laughs> that's, not, that's not for me to say. But you guys are going to be getting together in... Um, we have GA Davis. every day. And then tonight, your campsite at Boone's house is still... I, think, I believe our GA is at, at Boone's today. Um, I wouldn't say it's overly active. Um, I'd say it's moderately active because it's a little bit far away. Not everyone can make it. Some people on bicycles. We have a lot of students. We have a lot of people. A lot of people work in this movement. You know, um, across the country, you know, the, the assembly is dwindling down, the numbers are you know, declining. How is it looking for Richmond? What assembly is um, Well, you know, it's, it's reported that. There's 40,000 people in New York yesterday. Well, the number in um, as a whole, the number of people who are out, I mean, it could be the weather. It, yeah, it's, it, it, I would not see it. I, I personally believe this is an economic rights revolution. Again, I'm not, I'm not speaking on behalf of the but I think you're going to see a lot of different things happening. Occupy should be thanked and respected as a catalyst to that. But there's a lot of a lot of things that this is going to do and a lot of directions it's going to go do. So, yeah, maybe people aren't sleeping as much, but that doesn't mean that they're not on their computers planning events and doing um, direct 
uh, outreach and action events and all that stuff. Just because you see the numbers in camps dwindling does not mean that the movement is dwindling by any means. And I think there's a lot of proof there. If you we talked about the Oh yeah, we talk about it all the time. Um, um, but it's it's up to GA. It's that's not up to me. But we we, we chat and try and converse about everything and really get get things as fair and as far as the group goes as possible. So we might be. We might be. We don't know yet. <laughs> We're not sure. Um, I'm probably going to be in DC on Thanksgiving. With, with what Occupy New York people coming down about this. What time is it? Um, seven? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, honestly, just so media doesn't waste their time, I just want to let you know that we'll, we'll probably go over what the mayor said, but um, since she is outside tonight, we'll probably um, not talk about our, our next plan of action tonight or anything. I, my guess, and this is a total guess I'm speaking on my behalf, is it wouldn't be the most exciting today based on the weather tonight. So, I, I I want, to, I want to warn you ahead of time because sometimes I think you come out to things that are really that exciting. It's anything good for us, it's not great for you. Anything else that happened in the media that you want to address or, or put out there? That we, that no? Any questions? No? Do you have any questions? No, I'm just, yeah, I'm good. Oh, she's, yeah. She's oh, so good. She's she's too. Okay. No, so I'm she's sure. an intern, so I'm Oh, well, we like everyone to speak at Octopax. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? I don't. I okay. think I heard it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is there a way I can get some of y'all's business cards just so we can make sure that we Improving the environment and the community life. And so we did find some common ground at the at the outset. However, I I I I'm my mind. But it was stated that it was um, difficult to reconcile um, the show of force. Um, the law enforcement has been utilized, ordinances have been cited to undermine the very social justice issues that we 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 find in common. So well, he said there's uh, two ways to work it, more than one way to work at social justice, and we're chosen our path, and he's um, took a sworn oath to um, do his best. I pulled the law, he kept saying. And so we're trying to find that medium of where these two can meet together and work together. And, and what we have to also remember is that he is an uh, elected political official, right. and there are certain boundaries that he cannot cross as an elected political official. However, as citizens of society, utilizing our first amendment right, we, have just, we are choosing the method that is most applicable and available to us. Do you agree? Yes. And in fact, as a child of civil rights, he is well familiar, as he reminded us, of the kind of popular grassroots level activism that is required to actually enact change. And we did remind him that Blue Ribbon Commissions have rarely been able to provide the kind of change analysis and proposals which are necessary to address these multiple crises that we face today. Um, will you guys be staying for things? Yeah. We'll be here. He's invited you? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 He has also uh, made us aware that he would like the mayor to attend and that he would be uh, on the lawn within our encampment and that he would uh, provide the necessary materials uh, and or seating arrangements, however, you know, that goes to facilitate this Thanksgiving day. And I think it's a really uh, nice gesture for Mr. Bain to do so. And also an opportunity for us to meet with members of this community so that we can get to know people who are occupied. Yeah, Mr. Boone is a wonderful uh, person in the respect that he has opened up his property 
to all those who would like to meet with us. Because one of the strengths of our movement is that we are non-violent, non-resistant movement. We are not, no one is threatened or under any type of threat with our being. The only persons who are being threatened are those persons who may be at the opposite polar end of the issues that we so rightly believe they need to be changed. I think it's really fitting that we have Mr. Boone's support. He is the owner and the manager of the free press. Owner and operator, editor. The publisher. Thank you for that right now. Um, in, in any democratic society, you need a free, independent, um, and open press. And I think in our current corporate media monopoly system, um, organizations like his do provide a very necessary function that is what he said. How did you guys form the six member group? I know, uh, because Claire said it, it, you guys just kind of picked among. It was a nomination process. So are you gonna are you gonna go to Boone's house at all today? Are you gonna participate in the GA today? Or <laughs> Other stuff. Right, absolutely. Thank you. Well said. Did I miss anything? Did I? Okay. Um, oh, I wanted to ask you who decided how, that this was going to be a closed meeting? Because the mayor's office says you guys are the ones that made that. I personally don't have any information on that. Oh, um, sure. Okay. It was a mutual decision because I don't want to take out the mayor's or, you know, the, the mayor, if the mayor's office said you guys are the ones who wanted it closed, and we automatically thought you guys wanted it to be heard. I don't want to speculate on anything. Okay. Um, Silver said he's going to post his. We'll just check it out on YouTube later tonight. Alright, so I think it's going to be my full name, so in the interest of fairness, I should give you my full name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just writing down. It's the only thing. Yeah, so now I have to go give all of you. Who's on your pen? Eva. Uh, Eva. Oh, I just, I, I, I know. Um,